Hi, it's Mrs. B. And Auntie. She's my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> we were just laughing about well, that. Um, yes. So you 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 picked out several for us to mm -hmm. react to. Yes. And was this recommended? Um, I think, and I forgot who wrote it. Okay, um, that's okay. But this warmest winter, that was the name of their tour last year when we went to their <gasps> oh. concert. So we may have heard this. Yes, we may have. But um, no, I don't remember. I don't either. We were oh, in such awe. Oh my goodness, that and was fun. Having so much fun. It was amazing. I, you know, I haven't been to a whole lot of um, live concerts. <laughs> that's okay, don't cry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But, I mean, surround sound is not the word. It's like in your gut sound. I mean, yeah, you're, you're every, in the music. You're, yes. You're surrounded. Yeah, surrounded, and it, it's inside you, you're too. You're engulfed in Yeah, it. engulfed. That's a good word. Your, your whole <laughs> body is absorbing that music. It was so and awesome. And, of course, uh, <laughs> Tim's final note... Oh my goodness. On Ring of Fire. Oh. Vibrated the floor. Yes. And, and we were walking. And our hearts were just like, oh my gosh. Because uh, we didn't leave until after yeah. it was through. Yeah. And it was still reverberating. Yes. That was amazing. It was. If you have a chance to go to a concert, you need to go to a concert. Because it's, it's like nothing else. Uh, you know, just, I mean... Other singers, yes, they they have their, but to have that full body of um, range in a song and have it be all around you, you know, it's not just, you know, like two guys singing or whatever. It's like all four of them with the whole range. It, it's just, it's almost indescribable. Yes. So, good. so go to a concert. <laughs> we have only been to the warmest winter home. Uh, Home free, yes. Concert, so we would love to go to one in maybe in the summer. Yes, somewhere. Um, yeah, that would be. They would have some of more of their summertime mm -hmm. songs yeah, that aren't just geared toward Christmas winter. and stuff. I wouldn't say that was that geared toward Christmas even. Yeah, because it didn't seem real Christmassy. Not really, but. It was beautiful. Yes, it was. it was. We loved it. They're touring this year with a lot of other acts. Who are they? Mm -hmm. Okay. And several of them. It, it wasn't just, uh, what's the name? That Texas? Oh. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're so good. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyway, we're going to listen to Warmest Winter. Let's get started. Okay. <coughs> being together and everything I remember um, when uh, we were kids you know uh, there would be uh, the grown up table my brothers and sisters were at the grown up table and then there was nieces and nephews table and I, I felt conflicted of which side where I should sit because I was a little sister 
<laughs> but me and Mrs. B were about the same age, and I wanted to be with her and her big sister, too. So I, I just sat with the nieces and nephews. And I, I remember a, a movie they had. A movie they had. I didn't realize I was so silly, but I was like, <laughs> just like I am now. Can you imagine? <laughs> a 10-year-old Elaine. I mean, <laughs> she, whatever. She's always been like this. Yes. And, um, and you've always you came been by it natural. Yeah. Oh, my sisters were nuts. They were funny. And to be honest, I think your mom was. Yes, yes. She is very. I don't know how to explain that, <laughs> mom. Um, she tried to be a lady, but she, you know. Um, but she was funny. She's very serious a lot of the times. Mm-hmm. But then if she got tickled, but her and her sister, they were at the pits. My sister was four years older than I was. And she she's in high school, and she was doing um, some oh. play where she was dancing a lot of different dances throughout history. Throughout history yeah. And one of them was the Charleston. the Charleston. And my grandma, who... Did not believe in dancing anymore. No, she's a very <laughs> devout Pentecostal uh-huh. woman. Dancing was a sin. When mm-hmm. she showed my sister how to do the Charleston, mm-hmm. we've got—I think we've got oh eight millimeter videos of them dancing in the kitchen or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. and I, I was flabbergasted that my yeah. grandmother would do this, and, and she, she could, was laughing and just being silly. She could she be could silly. Do, she could do that Charleston pretty good. Yes, yeah, she could. She and could. she was. She looked like a flapper in her, in her younger pictures. Do you have a picture of her? Yeah. Okay. Is it handy? Yeah. We'll show y'all a picture of her mother when she was uh, uh, young. Oh, is it up high? We can get it later. You start the music. Okay, she'll be back in just a moment. We'll, we'll go back a little bit. Interval. You see? No. She looks like. Okay, drop it. Yeah, right there. Anyway, that that's her mother and my grandmother when she was how old? Does I think she say? was like fourteen to sixteen, somewhere in there. But she was a flapper <laughs> in the twenties. She's pretty young there. Yes, but she could do the Charleston. And you would never have, if you'd known her, you'd never <laughs> expect it. In fact, she uh, didn't wear pants until she was quite up there. Yeah. And, I mean. Yeah, I we, think uh, probably in the 60s or in, 70s. In her, in her 60s. Oh, well. She wore, she didn't yeah, wear her sixties. Yeah, probably she wore dresses all the time. Yeah, uh, it was a while before. Never jeans, and she didn't think I should wear jeans when I was married. And I got married when I was nineteen. <laughs> I remember my first jeans that looked like men's jeans, and it was when I was older. Yeah, mm-hmm. we had slat or pants that. Mm-hmm. Were yeah. double man kind of stuff. like oh no I had a pair that was kind of like jeans but it was mm. never je- denim material mm. and it was I was married before I think I had the pants that were denim I had but some, I got married very young so. I had some bell bottom um, jeans 
that I had to watch when I walked because the bell bottoms would get in the way. Our bell bottoms back. They've they come were, back. Woo, they were big. I have I a mean, pair at home right now. They would stretch up like that far. Ooh, I, have a, I have a pair at home that, not mine, I do alterations and I have a, uh, someone brought me a pair. Oh, really? The bottom is probably 24 inches. Wow. A wide laying flat. Oh, wow. And um, she wants me to make them shorter, but keep the bottom. Keep it. So I have, oh, wow. I'm, I'm going to do a California hem on them. So. Now, what's a California hem? Well, you cut them off right above where they're, where the hem is and then sew it back on there. And so there's a little bitty seam, but you don't see it. Oh, you're just so smart. Oh, yeah. So smart. <laughs> so smart. But yeah, they're back in style for sure. Onward and upward. Love to hold. I pretended I was cold, so she'd hold me uh-huh. till I fell asleep. Together was all we needed to be. How I love to dream about it. this song from the concert now. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh. But pretend they're cold so he can be held oh, until yeah. he fell asleep. Yeah. Oh, how sweet. Oh, sweet. Yeah. How sweet. <laughs> I have grandchildren, great grandchildren mm-hmm. that love for me to hold them and one of them in particular likes to fall asleep in my arms. Oh, so just how so precious. Sweet. That's a perfect age. And she's she's 5. Oh, that's perfect. That's she just fine. turned fine. Uh-huh. How She's sweet. so sweet. Oh. So so sweet. We've got mm. we've got um, fifteen grandchildren and six great grandchildren with one on the way in January. Wow, cool. And this one is the five year old, so Aww. but she just turned five. Aww. But anyway, sorry guys. Precious. No, that's fine. I love love this song. Oh yes. But they they make them all so nice. Oh, they do. Let's start it again. I try to remember Only the best from days gone by Oh, we try Grandpa's giving thanks to God And we're all holding Grandma's been gone five years now We're missing her again Together was all we needed to be How I love to dream about it Whenever I need, I always recall I think that's a very good point too Yeah to think of the best times. I always remember the best times. I, even when it's not the holiday season, you should mm-hmm. always focus on the positive. And the, or you can get down real easy, especially in the ho- around the holidays. Oh, yeah. And, and there's a lot of uh, depression, mm-hmm. mental, mental illness and stuff that... So, yeah. so focusing and, on the positive is so much better for you. And then, you know, you always remember the people that aren't there. And right now, um, you know, my brother is going through a lot of grief over losing his wife. And, Just a uh, few months ago. Yeah. And so this will be a hard Christmas for him. But, you know, we try to gather around him and support him and uh, push him through it. You know, we, that's how you have to do it. You do that for those you love. Mm-hmm. I, I would like, hopefully, someday, someday, we'll be have him around us, and mm-hmm. we can a, a, have him on one of our tea, teas, uh, teas. It's not tea; it's coffee with what? Mrs. Ben Auntie. And I think mm-hmm. he would have some he really nice stories to tell. 
Yeah. On her. Oh, no. Did I need to take <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, you actually have two brothers left. Yes. And Still living. Yeah, no sisters left, but two brothers. Yes. They're 10 years apart. Jim is uh, 78 and Maynard is 88. Mm-hmm. So. And, and her parents had her in their 40s. <laughs> yeah. So she's quite a bit younger than they were. And uh-huh. um, it's hard having that much distance in your yeah. age, which I never really gave a lot of thought to because I didn't grow up that way. Mm-hmm. But being around you yeah. and seeing how hard it's been for different reasons yeah. that, you, yeah. that I would never have thought of. Yeah. And I have uh, one brother still living, and mm-hmm. we don't talk very often, but I love him just the same. Yeah. So anyway, it's, it's, it doesn't diminish the love. Yes. So anyway... I was just thinking how how nice this song is, and and, and to think of the positive, and know. it is a newer song too because once again oh, Kim it. cut his hair in twenty twenty. Yeah, <laughs> so for we sure. are, well no he he let it grow in twenty twenty. Mm. I think he cut it in twenty twenty one. I don't know that for sure. Y'all probably know. You can let me know, but um, I know it's since COVID. Right. That he wasn't, he didn't color his hair. <laughs> and then he cut it. <laughs> I remember that because I was coloring my hair then. And you were upset when he cut his hair? Yeah, my husband was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. So that made me upset because my husband was upset. I thought, oh, okay, I can be upset about it too. But that that's how I kind of go by the age of the song. Is yeah. His hair. Oh, this is a newer batch. If you yeah. And Austin, and Austin Adam uh, Rupp looks so young in this. I know. He has good makeup on. <laughs> yeah. No, he is young, though. That that came he out is. really wrong. He is. He is. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> he is young. Let me back it up just a little bit. Okay. No, okay. Whenever I need, I always recall. Oh, um, <laughs> he looked like he's about to cry. I think I could be wrong, but I think he wrote this about his grandmother. Oh, it could be because it, I mean, it seemed and like he's really... showing emotion there, real yeah. emotion. Yeah, it's at sweet. least that's what I think it is. Y'all let us know. Did, did Austin write this about his grandmother for some reason? I don't know if they told us that. Oh, they might have. That's or if I've dreamt it or what. But no, I mean, he was really showing emotion there, so it could be. It's a beautiful song. I, I really it's love a it. Pretty song. Well, in we'll finish it up again. Oh, it's that good. Oh, that was good. I thought they might show in memory of, but they didn't. Oh. So, but that was beautiful. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's a good song. Good, good song. You know, these these uh, winter or Christmas songs that we've been listening to today, they really have brought back a lot of feelings, mm-hmm. not even of, of my adult Christmases as much probably because I'm with you, mm-hmm. uh, as the the Christmases of my childhood. Mm-hmm. And 
I don't know. There is a warm feeling to mm-hmm. it. Yeah, to those because memories. there's so many good memories. Mm-hmm. I imagine if a person had some tough times, it'd be hard to hear a Christmas song. It could be. It yeah. could be. So if you know someone, well, even we all know someone, be sure and reach out to those you love. This yes. Is, this season. Uh, And if you think of something you would like for us to react to, please put it in the comments and I'll write it down and we'll get to it eventually. (laughs) By the way, Auntie has been answering most of, well, all of the comments as of late. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's done a wonderful job keeping up with them. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. I I appreciate your technical work. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we, we appreciate y'all watching. We hope you stop back by and give us a thumbs up, yes. a like, and subscribe. share, comment. See you later. <laughs> Bye-bye.